If we eliminate a euphoric run in the price of Bitcoin that transpired over the course of about four weeks between November and December of 2017, it could be argued the cryptocurrency hasn't performed all that bad considering it was only November 2017 when the market was trading around current levels. Of course, it's hard to look at a market that has declined some 70% off its record high in such a short period of time. But again, removing this little part of the price action shows a market that is trading at levels it was making record highs just back in the fall of 2017, not even one year ago. If we throw in the fact that Bitcoin was able to achieve something in that wild period of November to December, everything starts to maybe look a little different. So what was that thing the cryptocurrency achieved? Well, that period in November and December was the period in which the whole world was exposed to Bitcoin and everyone was talking about it. And so this type of network effect should not be dismissed. And while it may take some time for a market that clearly got ahead of itself to get back to seeing a consistent push higher in the price, there does appear to be enough interest and adoption to assign real value to this asset class. Regulatory overhangs, a technology still very much in development and a technology where proof of concept is still being assessed are things that understandably have brought Bitcoin back down to earth. And yet, if earth is around the $6,000 area, it's not anything that should be laughed at. This is a currency that was born with no value in 2008 and one that has ushered in the reality of a new form of money with more efficient characteristics and more dynamic capabilities that extend beyond the monetary value. So whether or not we see an ETF in 2018 is somewhat beside the point that cryptocurrencies are probably here to stay and look to have a bright future ahead. Like many bubbling industries, including a dot-com bubble that seems to have similar characteristics, it may take more time to allow things to consolidate so the fat can be chewed out before the 2.0 version emerges with a much clearer vision and execution plan. We wouldn't rule out the possibility for another big drop that takes Bitcoin back down towards the $3,000 area as per our technical insights, though we believe there is real value here if we think about things medium to longer term, with Bitcoin leading the way on the decentralized technology front and inspiring many other interesting cryptocurrency projects along the way. Ethereum is certainly one of those and the rise of this smart contract and its capabilities is not something that should be ignored despite the setbacks we've seen since December. Technically speaking, Bitcoin has seen an intense contraction in range in 2018 that has resulted in a triangle-like formation of lower tops meeting up with that same strong support zone in the 6,000 area. The contraction in range has nearly reached the apex at this point, which should serve as a warning sign for imminent volatility. Given that we are in a downtrend, it would be silly to rule out prospect for a bearish continuation and sustained breakdown below 6,000, this time back towards that September 2017 low, around 3,000. At the same time, if the market decides it wants that volatility to manifest via bullish price action, we believe the bullish price action will need to result in a clear break back above the July lower top around 8,500 to encourage prospects for the start to a legitimate uptrend. That's all for now.